Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codus Arcade. In today's video, I will be talking about how to compute the binomial coefficients with the help of a C program. So before starting the video, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos with your friends and family and also subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications about our latest updates. Thank you. So let's get started. As I told you, to compute the binomial coefficients, we need to first know about a formula of the binomial coefficients. As you can see here, this is the formula for the binomial coefficients. It is ncr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial. Suppose we have taken the values for n and r to be 6 and 4 respectively then the formula will be like this ncr is equal to 6c4 is equal to 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 4 factorial into 4 factorial then if you calculate the result you will find that it is 360 so this is the basic formula as you can see here in the screen ncr is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial. So let us go on to the editor so that I can show you the program with the help of which we can calculate the binomial coefficients. So I am going to my editor now and you can see here I have already written down the program for you. So this is the header file and this is my main file. And you can see I have taken three variables which are of the integer data type and there are four variables which are of the long integer data type. Then I have used the printf function and I am printing this enter the value of n and r and then with the help of the scanf function I am taking the input of the values n and r from the user. Then initially I am taking the values of x, y and z to be 1. Let me tell you, this x is for n factorial, y is for n minus r factorial and z is for the final one which is r factorial. So I am calculating all the values x, y and z individually so that finally I can use the formula ncr and I can use the separate formula which is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial. Therefore, I have individually taken x, y and z as you can see here. So first of all, I am using a for loop to calculate x. As you can see here, just because n factorial comes in the beginning, I am taking i equal to n, i greater than equal to 1 because it cannot be 0 and then I am decrementing the value of i. So then I am calculating the value of x which is x equal to x into i. So it will go in a reverse order just because I am decrementing it. Suppose it is 4, then it will be like 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So this is the n factorial part. Now let us go on to the n minus r factorial part. For that, I have taken i value to be n minus r as you can see here. And then I am decrementing it one by one. So this way it will give the product and it will calculate the values in the reverse order like 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. It can be any number. It depends on you. So let us now move on to the final one which is r factorial. So for that I have taken z as you can see here. So here also I am taking a for loop and then I am doing this operation and you can see it's decremented i is minus minus. So it will calculate the multiplication in reverse order. Finally you can see here, this is the ncr variable, which is of the longing data type. And here, I am calculating this n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial. But instead of that, I am taking x, y and z because these three variables represent my n factorial, n minus r factorial and r factorial. x represents n factorial y represents n minus r factorial and z represents r factorial. Then I am using the printf function to print my value of n 
value of r and finally the value of my ncr which is the binomial coefficient so let me run it for you so that you can check the result here let me zoom it for you i am taking the value of n to be 4 and the value of r to be 2 and let me press enter you can see I'm getting the result which is NCR or 4C2 is equal to 12. Let me take it for the one I told you earlier which is 6 and 4 and I said the answer is 360. Let me do it for you. I'm taking the value of N to be 6 and the value of R to be 4 and let me do it now. As you can see here the value of NCR is 360. So this is how you can compute binomial coefficients with the help of a C program. Thank you. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. And if you like it, then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts, then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like, share and subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post a new video. Thank you. Happy learning.